My name is Amy Dreyer. My name is Jordan Hamilton. My name is Chelsea. I'm an artist, a uh, painter. I'm the manager of external relations at the Calgary Drop-In and Rehab Centre. I am a PhD candidate at the University of Calgary in the Gastrointestinal Sciences Department. I, uh, I struggle with that answer, to be honest. But what I think makes me a strong leader is that I follow a code of ethics. I don't think I set out to be a leader in, uh, in particular, um, but I, I tried to always be the best of what I could do, what I could be as an artist. Well, I suppose I'm a leader in the sense that uh, research and, and researchers generally, it's a very demanding kind of work. It takes a lot of perseverance, a lot of ambition and hard work and long late hours in the lab. And these are important questions that we're addressing and in the end can impact lives in a very real sense. It takes patience. I started my career working for the United Nations. Um, I worked work for the World Bank as well and uh, left both organizations incredibly frustrated, feeling like we weren't making a difference. Recently I had the opportunity to speak um, on behalf of the United Nations Association here in Canada. And uh, it gave me the opportunity to look back on some of the work we did. And eight years later, I was shocked at just how much progress actually had been made. Um, change doesn't happen overnight. It takes a long time. And with patience, great results will come. It takes time to figure out who you are as an artist, as a person. So I come into the studio every day at a certain time. I leave at a certain time. I come in here even when I don't want to. Like I'm here and I'm dedicated to the process. And I think that's part of it. You know, you're not always just kind of inspired and stuff. There's always that combination of discipline and structure and structurelessness and, and you know, chaos, I guess, and creativity. So. I think in order to make something happen, you have to have that structure. One piece of advice I'd like to give young leaders is to be persistent. Don't give up. Uh, it's far too, off, too far too easy to give up nowadays, um, but don't give up. Great things will come if you put the time in, if you put the effort in. By making the project your own, by, by becoming inspired by who you're going to help with your project, what you're going to do with that project, I think can really fuel you through some very challenging times.